IC chip layout design can be done manually and automatically. First, let us examine the manual design. Let us first do the following. Learning how to manually design as a sample for an inverter kit using microwave. This is what we're planning to do. Develop the so called pull up, pull down network, then create a valid CMOS transistor circuit interconnection. Develop the stick diagram invoking micro and, and draw the 2D IC layout. We will check for errors by invoking the design error checker. Sweet extract a spice list, perform spice simulation, and then a short description of an improvement of the design using most generator. The pull-up network. Now we have the pull up network. Now this is the pull down. So this is the required PMOS transistor and an MOS transistor. The gate is interconnected to the input and the junction of the PMOS and the NMOS is the output. Now let us see how to draw the stick diagram. So we use blue line for metal and this heavier represents the P plus diffusion, the green one the N plus diffusion. The polysilicon Intersection with the P plus create a PMOS transistor, while the intersection of the polysilicon with the N plus create an NMOS. The BDD is connected to one side of the PMOS. The other side is connected to the drain of the NMOS and the source of the NMOS is connected to ESS. If there is any connection, we put a cross mark. And if there is no intersection connection, there is no cross mark. Like this metal bus here, there is no connection here. So in actual physical layout, they belong to different layers. If there is a, an intersection, a hole is created, a bio hole is created, and the connection is made. Let us examine another, which which requires us to draw two PMOS connected in parallel. That is pulled up to BDD. The lower junction of it is, which is the output line C, cascaded to two NMOS A and B that is pulled down to ground. This intersection of the PMOS P diffusion 
and the polysilicon create transistor PMOS and down here is the NMOS. So to complete here we have to connect these two PMOS to the BCC and junction on the other side of the PMOS is the output line and that output is connected to the NMOS A in cascade with NMOS B and that end of the B source is connected to BSS. This is our pull-up network and that is our pull-down pull network. Now let us carry this to the microwave. So we will bring down our pallet and we will just use metal one try to fit them in one layer as much as possible. First, that is the our B, uh, BSS line and this is our BDD. So I will click that to indicate BDD. And this one is BSS. This is our PMOS and this is our and diffusion. This is the P, P plus diffusion, this is the N plus. Now let us since we are staying in one level, I will uh, run here a connection, make it heavier, and connect this to the one side of the P+. Plus. Let us drop down a polysilicon and make a connection from here that will serve as also an output let's make it heavier and that also goes to the plus the other side is connected to the BSS so let us provide contact that and there is an intentional size error here so we can we like